Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show. And today I am testing out a TikTok weed hack. That's right, folks. I'm not sure if any of you guys are on the talk, but since my last video about it, I have I'm fully obsessed, fully indoctrinated, fully ingratiated. TikTok is a lot more than just young kids doing weird dances. Like I don't really see any of that on my page. Your, your page is really what you interact with, so unsurprisingly, I see a lot of weed content. There's always a lot of hacks and like tricks on TikTok, and one of them that was going around a few weeks ago was this chick took her grinder and boiled it in a pot of milk and then used the milk to make hot chocolate and it got her really high. When I first saw the video, I was like, oh, genius, I'm definitely doing that. And then in the comments, everyone was like, ew, like I did this and got sick, like ew. The grinder's dirty, everyone's touching it. And so then I was like, oh, maybe it isn't a good idea. But then I thought about it. This grinder is heavy duty. It's like a heavy duty stainless steel grinder. Like I've had it for over 10 years, like well over 10 years. Who else is touching this but me? I will clean it with alcohol before I boil it and it should be fine. Like I don't know what germs are talking about. Since there's so much back and forth, so much uh, debate, I will test this out and we'll see what happens. If you guys wanna do it at home, you just need a grinder some milk or some water, and then whatever you want to make your hot chocolate with. Um, okay, follow me into the kitchen. Just kidding, I'm in the kitchen. Look at this. <laughs> We're here! <laughs> okay, so I cleaned my grinder, and now I'm gonna separate each piece. This feels very wrong. And the point is to get like all the stuff out of these crevasses, you know? And then the most important crevasse. And look, if you have a ton of keef in here, don't boil it. Take it out and smoke it. But I have just some stuff like in the crack. So now we're just gonna let that boil. All right, so it's now boiling and you can see like the leafiness is kind of coagulating at the top. I'm gonna turn this down though because I think it should be more of a simmer. Like I don't need it to be a full bitch boil. And you don't want to do this super long. So we'll say total like 10 minutes of this. And uh... And then we'll try it out. This is the hot chocolate I'm gonna use. I got it in my stocking. Land of Lakes, baby. And then my favorite ever mug right here. All right, here's, here's what it looks like inside. Pretty skeptical about this, gonna be honest, but it does smell a little weedy. And there is kind of like a oily film on the top. I don't really know if that's right or what that is. So now I'm just gonna pour some of this into this. I feel like I'm gonna burn myself. There we go, okay. All right, I switched to this mason jar because that mug was not big enough. So here we go, let's take our first sip. It's hot. I mean, it has a very distinct weedy taste. The taste reminds me more of like a firecracker taste where it's the fresh weed, not decarbed, not infused into butter. You're actually tasting the plant, which is scary to me and is giving me flashbacks because if you've seen the video of me with the firecracker, you know that it fucks me up. It fucks everybody up. I mean, it's really good, especially because I did a mint hot chocolate, so it's all working together wonderfully. Like, it's very tasty. I'm just not convinced that it's gonna get me high or like super high or whatever the fucking kids say these days. I guess I'll drink this and report back. It's a lot of liquid, but it's pretty tasty. All right, so it's like an hour and a half later, and I got a little high. I felt pretty good. Would I recommend doing this if you have weed already? Like, I don't know. I'd probably just smoke my weed. Can you not with all the fucking foley, foley in the background? <laughs> I didn't feel sick or anything. I just like had a nice buzz. Um, it started to taste a little gross toward the end. Uh, that maybe was the mint hot chocolate. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Would I recommend this? I don't know. Like, smoke your keef, clean your grinder, and maybe do this as a last resort if you're out of weed and you just have, like, some, like, crustacean in your grinder. That's what I would use it for. If you have a plastic grinder, definitely don't boil that. That'd be a terrible idea. See, like, you can tell I'm a little high because this eyelid's droopy and I didn't smoke, so. So that's always a sign. Um, anyway, thank you for coming along on this journey and testing out this TikTok weed hack, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Also, in terms of just overall effectiveness, um, my grinder is, is clean-ish, but it's not super clean. You're gonna want to use like a little brush, maybe some rubbing alcohol, so 
If you just want to clean your grinder, definitely don't boil it in milk. Like, you can just scrub it with water. 